Mike, George here, and today we're going to be making an Alex skin inside of Planet Minecraft. It's pretty easy to do. Let's go ahead and get this thing started. The first thing you want to do is go up here where it says Minecraft, and go over here where it says PMC Skin 3D. That's the Planet Minecraft skin editor, and you want the advanced editor to get all the tools. And there we go. And then we want to make a new skin in here. So go up here to File, come down to New Skin, click on Yes, and let's set our skin here. We're going to be making Alex with three pixel arms. Leave everything else alone and choose Create. There we go. Now the base color doesn't matter. You can either have white or black, doesn't make any difference. But the important thing right now is that we want to mark the front of the face. It's easy to get this thing flipped around and build it backwards. So when it first comes in, the front is showing. So I'll just put a square up here, just paint something upper left-hand corner. And I know that is the front. So now if I spin this thing around, I can always find the front again. Okay, that's just a safety just in case. Now to work around in this program, if you're outside of your figure like this, you can drag around and see the different sides. You can like that, see below and see above. You can do all that. Right-hand side here, we can show or hide the different parts of this. This side right here is the overlay. That's where your armor is. You can see there's an overlay right here, kind of armor showing. And if you look carefully, you can see that it's a little bit further out from the figure. So that's where the armor goes, and that's your overlay. You can show or hide parts just by clicking on the part. There's the torso. I've hidden that. And I've now shown that. There's one leg, other leg, and the head. And the reason why you want to do that is that sometimes you want to paint things that are not shown, like what's underneath the head here. If I hide the head, I can then paint that top section. If I hide the torso, I can then paint the insides of the arms over here and over there. We'll be doing some of that stuff in this project. If you have a scroll wheel on your mouse, you can scroll in and out like that to get a better view. Or we can go over here and use these tools to zoom in and out. There we go. You can show or hide the grid if you want to. And down here, you can take a screenshot. So if you're working on something and want to take screenshots, you can do that as well. So pretty easy to do this. To make this easier, I want to have the two sides match. Notice over here, from over here, left-hand side, I'm seeing the same thing on the right-hand side. Not in the middle of just this section here and also on the legs. That's where it says mirror, right over here. You can choose to mirror across the limbs. That's what I was doing here. And also through. If I mirror through, then anything I paint here is going to be showing up on the opposite side. Let me just put a little square like that. If I spin this around, the square is on the other side over there. If you want to undo a painting step, just use the Control Z keyboard shortcut and it undoes that. If I uncheck through, and then I paint that same square in again, spin this around, it doesn't come through. So sometimes I'll be turning this on and off depending upon what I want to do with this thing. And normally I'll leave across limbs on if I want to be painting the same thing on both sides. Okay, let's start off with the face. Let's first find a lip color. And it's just something over here in the pinks. We can always change it later. So come up here and go up one row of blocks and paint those in. And there's the basic lips. Everything else kind of based around the lips. Up here on our draw mode, I'm using the first one here. This is the paint pixels for the solid color. And we're starting off with that one. We'll be using that one and this one over here as we go. Okay, let's paint in the eyes now. Now if we come up here, go one, two, and three. This is where your eyebrows are. So I'm going to find a nice brown color in here. It's going to be up here in the oranges on the color wheel right there. And then into the color wheel, that's where your browns are. So someplace kind of in here, maybe like that. And let's go, you go one, two, and then right there, that's your eyebrow. And then one, two, and there's your other eyebrow. Now the eyes are going to be in here. Go back over here to our paint colors. Notice we have a reset button right here that gives you black and white. Click on that little bent arrow and it swaps those colors right now. White is in the front. So let's just paint white over here and white over there. And then for the pupils, be doing those on the inside here. This gives us a really big eyes. And let's give her blue eyes. A bit more turquoisey in here. Now on the color wheel, you can pull the color around on the outside there. And then in here, you can choose what value that is. Either darker or lighter. To the left is more saturated, to the right is less saturated. So you can come in here and control this. If you go along the edges like this, it was saying high saturation, but changing the values. Now I want to get a darker color up here. And let's paint right here and right there. Let's now make this lighter, a lot lighter. So it's almost white, but not quite. And there we go. So there's our eyes. Let's now bring in a basic flesh tone. Now what I do is I'll come in and I'll paint in solid colors first. And then I'll go back in. And I'll change those to model colors. It's just easier to see what you're doing that way. So I'll find a basic flesh tone up here into the oranges. 
and most of your flesh tones are right around in here. And again, using the draw mode here, I'm just gonna come in and just paint this whole section in without painting on the eyes. And this would be where the basic skin tone is. There we go. And you're gonna to wanna to have some of that on the side over here. I'm just gonna paint a square like this. We'll be hiding a lot of this with hair. So something like that. And then kind of over here somewhere, something in here as well. And let's come down to the arms and let's paint just the very bottom part. That's the hand area. And this side, notice how these are being matched across. That's fine. And then if we roll this under, we can paint the bottom side. This both for us. Now, if I hide the torso, notice it wasn't painting the inside in there. So let's go ahead and get that painted in. It did here and it didn't there. Sometimes it misses that. So just be careful about that. And also the bottom of the head in here. Let's go ahead. We'll paint this in. Paint like that. Just come straight across. There we go. Get that whole section in there. Okay, that's good. Bring our torso back up again. And let's now come in and do some hair on this one. I want a darker brown for the hair and a bit more red, I think. Again, I'm just painting in just solid colors right now. Now for the hair, I want to come across the top like this and then kind of come down diagonally like that. I may change the eyebrow colors. That's fine. And we'll continue this on down. There we go. And then across the back. And then on the back itself, come in and do kind of a V shape like that. And then just fill that in. It's the back of the hair. The whole back of the head is solid color like this. We'll fill that in. There we go. And then this side, same thing. Go up here where that starts. And then pull it down to a diagonal like that. And fill that in. And this comes right down to the corner. May pull over a bit more like this. There we go. And fill the top in. Now you can use the paint bucket to flood fill this. It's really easy sometimes if you're doing a large area. And with the paint bucket, notice that it flood fills just that one color that you're over. So there we go. Back to our regular brush tool right here. Let's just get this bit in there. Okay, so the hair is basically in place now. And if you want to come back in and add in a color you've already used, like this flesh tone here, use the eyedropper, click into that, that resets your color at that point. Go back to the pencil tool here and just get those two spots. Okay, so that's basically the head coloration. Let's now put in some coloration for the outfit. I'll do a blue outfit with pink accents. So let's find our basic blue color over here someplace. I want it real light, kind of like that. You can see there's the color. So a very, very light color. I'm gonna come down three right here, just go straight across like that. And let's fill those in. So there's a band in here, and then it comes down like this, little V shape right there and do the tops of the arms and pull it clear across on the arms. We'll fix the little spots back up in here a little later on. Let's just go ahead and get all this basic stuff in, our basic coloration. I want to have a space in here for a pink. Let's find a nice pink color. It's going to be over here in the magenta range and it's real light. So again, there's our pink. Same thing, I'm doing three like that. And let's do three in here. It's bringing this down and take that clear across. There we go and pull that around just like that. And then we'll finish off the rest of this in that same light blue. So back to our eyedropper, grab the light blue, back to the pencil tool, and I'll pull it straight across right here. And this just fill in all this area. Now we can do this with the paint bucket. We'll just pop those in, fill that in real fast. Notice in here, the legs are separate from the torso. That's why they didn't get filled in there. Now I'll be doing more stuff in here. So let's do bands of color down here. Go back up here to our single pixel brush right there. And then come in here and do three like that. There we go, three. I want to leave three open. Come in here and do three like that. And then down below here, we'll do the basic look for our shoes. Okay, let's get these filled in. There we are. Over to this side, just spinning it around. Get the back ones in here. So it's three and then three blank and then three more like that. There we go. Let's fill this area in with pink. So that's the color picker. Click on that pink. Back to our draw mode tool. And let's fill this in with pink right here. Here we go. And get the backs. And then for the shoes, they're basically white with a gray at the bottom. Spin it around and get the back side in. And there we go. And let's find a gray tone. And that's taking our slider here. Let's pull it down this left-hand side. It's all white to black over here. So that's your gray side, right in on that side of the triangle. Now that could be a different spot or another triangle like this. You have to see where it is, but look for the corners that are black corner and white corner. And between those two corners is your gray corner. And we'll do the bottom in that. 
Okay, that's our basic coloration. Let's now work on some of the missing spots, like underneath here. This is all going to be gray. You could use the paint bucket, but that's just as fast. Okay, so here's the basic coloration. Now I want to make this a bit more interesting. So let's go back over here. I'm going to take the eyedropper tool here. Let's grab that blue color and click on this next one here. This is a pixel of varying intensity. Now you have different options in here. If I go like this, it gets real dark coloration. Control Z to back out of that. If I bring the intensity down to about 15% or 14%, then it's a real small variation. So I'll be using the small variations. I think 15% is what I want right there. And this come in here and paint like that. And that puts in some variations for you. And it adds a bit more interest this way. And just paint around to fill that in. We're just kind of messing up the colors is what we're really doing here. And go clear around here. Let's spin around at the sides. There we go that and right down here in the spot down here as well and the top of the arms is right in there and this side also and the back there we go and just kind of fill this in here and we're doing the same basic idea for most of the skin and then putting in a few details after we have this basic coloration put in here and the back side of the pants in here there we go and we're doing the exact same thing for the pinks let's now hide the torso and let's get the insides, use that pink section right there, spin it around and right in here. Now for the pink down below, let's hide one of the legs. So click on the leg and hide the leg and then paint that in. Let's now add in some variety onto this thing, make it a bit more interesting. Let's go back over here to our white color and just the solid. And I'm going to paint just a few whites like this across here, like that. And then straight down here to the end of the shirt. Let's put some gray on this one now. Let's go back here. We'll find a mid-tone gray and do that right down this side. And I'll put some variations in here. There we go. I want to darken down this area. So I'll grab our tool. Let's find a darker blue tone right here. Back to our random. And let's do this in just darker versions of that. Just putting in some different changes in here, some variations. Let's take that and come down to the legs and do a line just like this right across here. There we go. Okay, now we need to do some fancier stuff on the skin and on the hair. That's all looking pretty good. I think the hair is looking good. Let's now add in some better details on this. And we can do that by adding in some stuff on this armor layer. Let's bring that up. Let's click on the arms. Here we go. Grab one of those colors. Here's our pink. Back to the random one. And I'm going to come across the top line here on that. And if you go like this, you can see how it's kind of standing out just a little ways. So it's just off the surface. Let's do that over here. Let's do it on this side. And I can spend more time on this and do more details so if I wanted to get really picky on this and put in some real careful details. And this is working for Java. If you're working with Bidrock, you can go for a high definition one, but for Java, we have to see at this definition. I'm missing part of the eye right here. Let's fix that. Eyedropper, grab that color right here. And our pencil tool, put that right there. Make sure we're on the correct side over here and hide that one. There we go. Okay. And there's our basic skin. Let's bring that back up again. There's all the detail on that. We now need to save this out. And you want to first download this to your computer. Click on download and save. So now I have that saved. And let's now put that up onto your account. If you don't have an account, it's okay. But I like having an account. You can share your skins that way. And the accounts are free. Go up to file and publish right here or down here, publish, same thing. And it's going to publish a skin onto your account. And then we can come in here and give it a name. Let's call it Alex Blue. Category is human. And this is a female gender. And give it a note if you want to. You don't have to, but if you want to, go ahead. Let's call it more playing around. And scroll down here. Give it tags. If you begin typing in, you'll get a bunch of ones to choose from. This is an Alex right there. It's in blue. This helps if somebody is searching for it. And then publish live. And it goes up to your account. Now I'm seeing a black line over here. So you missed a part of that. Let's go back. Let's fix that. So if you see something you don't like, you can come back in and fix it even after it's been published. Go up here where it says edit page and then edit in right here. Click on that and choose yes. There we go. Let's now hide those arms. And we forgot to do the insides. So let's just hide that overlay to our insides real fast. We'll start off with the blue eyedropper, light blue color and the noise mode. And let's just paint in some of that. There we go. And right down here, same thing on this side. Get that right there. 
and change over to a pink so eyedropper tool and that and then get that pink section in right there spin that around and right here put the arms back on again and our overlay and there we go it fixes that click on publish again update existing and then click on leave and it's back over here and that's now been updated and scroll down save changes and let's go ahead and make her skip and there we go we can see all the sides this way now to use this skin inside of the game you can do change my minecraft skin this should work or you can do this over in the launcher let me show you both i'll click on change my skin right here for this one you'll have to have an account on minecraft.net you can sign in with your microsoft account and just do that right here here we go come down here where it says change skin i'm going to be doing slim i need to upload our skin this is why we saved that down to our computer click on select file and then go into your folder where you saved that skin and mine's right there choose open there it is and upload and here's the current skin okay if you want to go back to the default look which is just the classic in here either slim or classic just click on reset skin let's now go over to the launcher and make sure this is actually working over there and i'll show you how you can change skins in the launcher as well okay here we are in the launcher click on skins there's a current skin looks like the sides still didn't hold so i have to change that to resave it again to get the sides to hold but that's okay add to library right here see there it is if you want to change to a different skin just come down here find your skin there's my standard spacesuit skin just use that one and i'm back to that skin so it's that easy to change skins for instance here's my beach outfit right there i'll click on use there's the beach outfit click on use here there is the alex look okay i'll change that back over then to my spacesuit if you like this video hit that thumbs up give me a like that way make sure you subscribe if you haven't already subscribed and hit that bell icon for notifications of my new videos and i'll see you next time